Hello, hello, and welcome to another week. Uh, and it's been just another week, really. I started the week off quite promisingly getting some training done. And then I could always blame uh, Storm Kira for giving me a little bit of grief towards the end of the week. But if the truth be told, I could have fitted in a little bit more exercise. I managed to get a couple of runs in. I managed to get a couple of swims in. I could have done an extra swim, and I definitely could have done a turbo session. But uh, I just didn't get around to doing it. I don't really have any excuses. Um, but this kind of knock-on from thinking about the fact that I haven't done these things when I had the opportunity to do them has kind of caused me to realize that uh, it's time to really release the panic monster if you don't know what I'm talking about with the panic monster I'll leave a link below there's a fantastic um, TED talk by a guy called Tim Urban which I think I might have talked about in some other videos where he talks about procrastination leaving things to the last minute my biggest fear is basically doing the same thing as I did last year uh, last season for those of you that kind of don't know about what went on um, I pretty much spent the whole year leading up to last season being injured the focus was on becoming uninjured and now I'm not injured my knee doesn't hurt anymore. I don't seem to have too many problems with the plantar fasciitis. So I can I can pretty much do whatever I can. But in the interim, uh, I piled on a huge amount of weight, at least uh, 20 kilos really over where I want to be, let alone where I need to be to race at the very best I can be. Um, so I need to take baby steps in terms of losing that weight. And I'm just not losing that weight. And it's making me feel um, pretty low at times, to be honest with you. I'm pretty generally quite a happy, buoyant person. Um, but there are times throughout the day when I really do feel pretty low about um, the, this kind of weight that I've got. Uh, I'm lugging around all the time and it's at times like that I do I really do feel like I'm lugging this kind of extra extra weight around and it's pretty depressing I saw the photos from the cyclocross race that I did last week they'll put the link above here uh, to last week's video it's pretty it's pretty offensive um, all the kit I've got I put on the biggest kit I had and I just just didn't fit into it um, so I won't be posting any pictures on the social media but it's pretty it's getting me down a little bit so um, you know this idea of the panic monster Tim Urban's thing about the fact that really I've only really got about three months until I race Bristol, give or take a week or so. Um, and three months is really that kind of pivotal time that I need to, to really focus my efforts. So that's really what I need to do. Um, this week is just getting to more of a routine. I made some good choices last week in terms of what I was eating, but they were mainly bad choices. And then uh, obviously Storm Kira came and gave us a bit of a hammering. She's still going now, actually. Um, it, it's, it's still super windy where we are um, in, here in the West Country. Um, we went down to see my brother-in-law and his, uh, his fiance down in Poole. So this is a little montage about what it looked like on Saturday night. Um, it's quite nice and peaceful, took the dog out for a walk. And then Sunday morning, it looked like this. So we drove back from Paul in that weather um, and came back to Clevedon and, and those of you who know where I live, I live right by the sea and um, I did take the boys down at high tide to uh, to the seafront where I, when I was a coast guard years ago, we used to close the seafront off um, because it's pretty dangerous down there to cars um, and, to, and to people and I thought I'd take the boys and we could watch it from where the sailing club is and I took a little bit of footage but um, I really set my frame rate wrong and uh, we got a lot of flicker from the uh, from the street lights but just to give you an idea of just how epic it is where I live uh, when, when the storms come in. Here's a little bit of footage, um, so you'll have to excuse the bad quality of this. So to kind of wrap this video up, a fairly brief video, that I uh, I really need to kind of focus, redouble my focus on, on eating, and I need to be much stricter with myself. I need to have a good long hard talk to myself about what it is that I want to be doing. I don't just want to be racing uninjured this year. I want to be racing at a decent weight, uh, preferably under 90 kilos and I am way off that at the minute and I've only got three months really to make a dent on on that weight and I know I can do it but I need to be super serious and strict with myself I've been working for a company called so and arrow in Cleveland doing some promo videos for them and I know uh, Pauline quite well who's the brains behind it all um, they're into the, the whole kind of keto way of looking at things and I'm gonna give that a, a, a go for a week having talked to them they say that uh, cutting out wheat from your diet is a really good starting point and that you'll start to begin to feel the benefits of that um, after a week or so so that's gonna be my plan this week 
the most important aspect of that for me really is uh, adding in a fasting element, um, which I've always done anyway. So a 16-8 fast and then looking at mainly focusing on uh, a keto diet over this next week or so. And then hopefully uh, kind of incorporating more of that into my lifestyle to see how that goes. So I picked up this bike light um, off of uh, off the internet for a pretty cheap price actually. A couple of guys on my uh, my cycling club um, Facebook page mentioned this this bike light. It's supposed to, to kind of break uh, when you slow down. Anyway, hopefully I'll uh, I'll be able to get enough good weather to, to give this a bit of a try out and give it a bit of a review review soon. And also I'd like to talk about uh, some mental stuff to do with training to do with the idea of uh, when you're training whether you use time whether you go out for a 30 minute run or whether you use distance for example whether you go out and ride 60 kilometers and the benefits of both and that you should really try and mix it up in your training. Um, so if you've got any thoughts on that I'd really appreciate. In, uh, including those in the comments below just purely because I'd like to get a little bit of input in that video I'm hoping to do that review uh, and that video over the next week or so that's it for me this week I'm going to be reporting back a little bit on this kind of keto diet um, how I'm feeling um, whether the weight's coming for in fact one of the things I'm not doing is weighing myself because that really depresses me um, I'm going to give that until probably the end of February but generally just how I'm feeling um, whilst I'm eating this keto diet and, uh, and with the fasting anyway have a good week I hope you have a better week this week than I had last week and I hope that I have a better week this week than I had last week but ultimately it's time to release the panic monster because uh, Bristol Triathlon I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into this as a fat bloke basically that's the plan I want to race it as best I can in as good a shape I can have a good week see you on the next one